Okay, to SSH into your iPod, the first thing you need to do is find the SSH application that should have downloaded when you jailbroke your iPod. And if it didn't, you can go to installer and install it from there. Just go to all packages and scroll down. It's take a while. It should be called Open SSH. Just click it and install that. If you haven't already, but I already do. Once you have that downloaded, just touch it and just touch it. And you should see a SSH root password. The password is Alpine for all the all of them. So just type in Alpine. A A L P I N E Alpine, then press home. Okay. Now you need to either install QFTP Professional or WinSCP from the links that I'm going to give you. The first one, QFTP will look like this. So just go to Downloads or Trial Software and just go to QFTP Professional and download that and enter in your information and stuff and click submit and then you should get a new program that looks like this the other SSH program is called WinSCP just go to the website I'm going to give you and click download and then the installation package right here just install that and it should pop up like this and click save file It shouldn't take that long to download, and once you have, just click open, or just install that on your computer. You should know how to install something. Okay, and then it will look like this. To, to set up WinSCP, just double click it, and you should click new. And then you, you need to enter in your iPod's IP address. To do that, just go into your iPod and go into settings, settings right here, and go to your Wi-Fi, and the one you're connected to, push a little blue arrow on the side or touch it, and then you should see the IP address on the very top, this is IP address, right here here just type that in to the host name and then the user name is root r o o t and the password is alpine and click save once you do that you should see something that looks like this so just click it and click log in oh yeah and you should make sure your iPod is connected while you push log in or else it won't work so let's try it again it should connect to the host and do a whole bunch of other stuff. And then it should do something like this. That means that it works. Okay. That's one SCP. And here's QFTP8 Professional.
when the screen first pops up, you should see a screen that looks like this. And just click close. Okay, well, my QFTP8 Professional Trial Edition has expired just today. And I can't show you how to make it, but I can tell you how. It's basically the same thing as before. Just go into your iPod and find your IP address and enter in as your host and then the username is root r-o-o-t and the password is alpine make sure your port is set on 22 and not on 21 that gave me a few problems when I first started doing this so yeah that's basically how you SSH into your iPod hopefully this video helped you if you have any questions just message me and I'll try and answer them as best as I can